All right, we're live in many locations in Edo State where voting is ongoing in the governorship election. That is what has happened since the process commenced. Accreditation and voting began at 8 a.m. in several polling units where materials arrived early. INEX says voting will end at 4 p.m. Now, early arrival of materials were reported at most polling units in the state. And by 7.30 a.m., 30 minutes before the exercise was scheduled to commence, electoral officials were already at 39% of polling centers from the reports we got in. But there was a bit of a delay in, in Benin City where the exercise did not commence at the stipulated uh, time. Now, COVID-19 protocols were enforced in many polling, uh, polling centers from our monitoring and wearing of face masks by officials and voters, temperature checks and social distancing were carried out in uh, most of uh, the places. So you can see so, from some of the uh, uh, visuals we got earlier on, uh, officials checking the temperature of uh, those on the queues and those who are ready for accreditation earlier on today. Uh, these are some of the protocols. And uh, going forward, certainly, uh, Pastor Osagi Zeyamu voted about, at about 9.30 a.m. earlier. He said he's satisfied with the process at Ward 5, Unit 26 at Oriomo in uh, Igododo community where he cast his ballot. Governor Godwin Obaseki has just cast his ballot at Mission Road, Benin City. And uh, we saw that visual earlier. Yeah, these are some of the pictures from just a few moments ago where he cast his ballot. And uh, he came in company of some other officials uh, of the government as well. And those uh, casting their ballot, you can see uh, maintaining uh, part of the protocols as well, wearing face masks. A lot of them from the report we also got, voters also wore face masks in many of the places we saw, although we saw a flouting of such protocols in many other places as well. So it was is, is a mixed bag of uh, compliance and non-compliance. Just a quick reminder that not more than 1.7 million votes are expected to be cast today because uh, that's the number of permanent voter cards collected from the 2.2 million names on the register. And that means that about 483,796 persons uh, did not collect their PVCs and will not be expecting votes from them. Now, according to the Independent National Electoral Commission, two conditions that confers eligibility are first being registered to vote and secondly, possessing the PVC. Also, from the register, voters have more males than female with about 100,000 uh, difference. That, those are the statistics in here that uh, we can see. Well, if you look at the age distribution, about 1.1 million people, which is about 50% uh, of the votes are youth, aged between 18 and 35. And then we have a middle age uh, between 36 and 50 years. We have them about 643,000 votes, which constitute about 29% uh, 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 of the vote. Now, the elderly, uh, that's people aged between 51 and 70 in this classification, they have about uh, 353,500 of them, constituting about 15.99% of the vote. Now the old, those from age 70 years and above, we have about 108,137 uh, of them in, in, in the classification and they constitute about 4.89% of the 2.2 million uh, voters expected right there. So these are the breakdown and certainly we'll be bringing you updates of some of these breakdowns and statistics as we get along. Now